Welcome back, everyone. Today we will be talking about types of interviews in research. Without any delay, let's get going. In research, there are several different types of interviews. An interview is a qualitative research approach in which data is collected by asking questions. Two or more people are involved in an interview, one of them is the interviewer who asks the questions. There are various sorts of interviews, which are often distinguished by their structure. Planned questions are asked in a predetermined order during structured interviews. Semi-structured interviews are in the middle, with unstructured interviews being more free-flowing. In market research, social science, and ethnographic research, interviews are frequently employed. What is a structured interview? Predetermined questions are asked in a specific order in structured interviews. They are frequently closed-ended, with multiple choice, or dichotomous, yes-slash-no, questions. Although open-ended organized interviews are possible, they are uncommon. Structured interviews are primarily a quantitative tool due to the types of questions answered. Asking a series of questions in a specific order might help you spot patterns in responses and allow you to compare responses amongst participants while controlling for other variables. This can help to reduce biases and improve reliability and validity. Structured interviews, on the other hand, might be extremely formal, with limited scope and flexibility. Structured interviews may be a good fit for your research if you have the following criteria, your topic is something you're quite familiar with. This will aid in the most efficient formulation of your questions. You don't have a lot of time or money. Because of their closed-ended nature, structured interviews are easier to analyze and might be a manageable task for a single person. Maintaining constant environmental conditions between participants is critical to your study question. What is the definition of a semi-structured interview? Structured and unstructured interviews are combined in semi-structured interviews. While the interviewer has a rough idea of what they want to ask, the questions do not have to be phrased or ordered in a specific way. Semi-structured interviews are frequently open-ended, allowing for flexibility, yet they are organized around a preset topic framework. As a result, they're frequently referred to as the best of both worlds. However, if the questions differ significantly amongst participants, finding patterns can be difficult, reducing the generalizability and validity of your findings. If your research calls for semi-structured interviews, they may be an excellent choice. You've had previous job interviews. When you're coming up with questions on the fly, it's easier than you think to ask a leading inquiry. In general, impromptu queries are far more challenging than they appear. The nature of your study question is exploratory. The responses you obtain may be useful in directing your future studies. What is an unstructured interview, and how does it differ from a structured interview? The most adaptable sort of interview is the unstructured interview. The questions themselves, as well as the order in which they are asked, are not predetermined. Instead, based on the participant's previous responses, the interview can proceed more naturally. By definition, unstructured interviews are open-ended. This adaptability can help you collect extensive information on your subject while still allowing you to spot patterns among participants. However, because they have so much versatility, they can be difficult to execute well. You must be very careful not to ask leading questions, as skewed responses might reduce the credibility of your research or even invalidate it. If your research calls for unstructured interviews, they may be an excellent fit. You have a thorough understanding of your research issue and have already conducted interviews. Your research question is exploratory, and you're looking for descriptive data to help you flesh out and contextualize your early thoughts. Your study requires you to develop a stronger bond with your subjects, urging them to express their actual feelings and ideas. What is the definition of a focus group? In a moderated setting, a focus group brings together a group of individuals to answer questions on a topic of interest. Focus groups are qualitative in nature, and they frequently examine the dynamics and body language of the group in addition to their responses. 
future study on consumer products and services, human behavior, and controversial themes may be guided by the responses. Focus groups are easier to organize than experiments or large surveys and can provide more nuanced and unedited feedback than individual interviews. Their tiny size, on the other hand, results in low external validity and the temptation for researchers to cherry-pick replies that meet their theories. If your research calls for it, a focus group can be a good fit. The dynamics of group conversation or real-time answers to your topic are the focus of your research. Your inquiries are difficult to answer since they are based on sentiments, ideas, and perceptions that cannot be answered with a simple yes or no. Your study topic is exploratory in nature, and you're looking for knowledge to help you come up with new questions or research ideas for the future. Interview advantages and disadvantages Interviews are a fantastic way to gather information. They enable you to collect more extensive data and develop more precise conclusions than other research methods by taking into account nonverbal cues, spontaneous emotions, and emotional responses. They can, however, be time-consuming and surprisingly difficult to carry out successfully. Smaller sample sizes can compromise validity and reliability, and the danger of interviewer effect from mistakenly guiding questions is always there. Here are some benefits and drawbacks of each sort of interview to assist you to decide whether or not to use this research approach. Interview with a structure The following are some of the benefits, data can be compared and used for quantitative research. High levels of trustworthiness and validity for both the interviewer and the respondent, it saves time. The following are some disadvantages, additional questions for clarity or nuance cannot be asked by the researcher. You can lose out on relevant data because of the limited scope. People may be forced to accept the best fit option due to the limited answer alternatives. Interview with a semi-structure advantages of a semi-structured interview it has the potential to be used in quantitative research. Validity is relatively high. If necessary, you may ask additional questions. Disadvantages are, the structured interview has a lower validity than the unstructured interview. To get the most out of the interview, you must be able to converse effectively. It takes time to prepare. Unstructured interview advantages of an unstructured interview If necessary, you may ask additional questions. Respondents may feel more at ease as a result. You can amass a wealth of qualitative data. If little is known about the subject, this can be used. Disadvantages Inadequate dependability and validity to keep the interview going, you must have excellent conversational skills. It's easy to get sidetracked. Data comparison is difficult. Preparation takes a long time. About focus group advantages of a focus group because you interview multiple people at once, this method is efficient. Respondents are frequently more relaxed. Relatively inexpensive it's easier to talk about difficult topics now. Disadvantages due to time constraints, you can only ask a limited number of questions. You must be able to converse and lead effectively. There is a greater possibility of social desirability bias. Because there are multiple people present, you cannot guarantee confidentiality. So here we come to the end of today's topic. Hope you found it insightful, if yes, do like the video and subscribe to the channel to get an update of such videos in future. Do let us know in the comments section, as to how useful was the topic.